Hello there, you beautiful people. My name is Willow, and welcome back to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance Forever. Today, we are going to be casting a free-for-all on the map Gamma. G Gamma. I don't know why I said that weird. Gamma. Oh, yes, Gamma. Either way, uh, we are going to be watching these three players go at it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start introducing them, starting in the top left and going clockwise. We have a Red Seraphim going first land by the name of Admiral Aids. Ooh. And they're going to be in this top left hand corner trying to vie against the other two players who are going to be a Blue Seraphim by the name of Sergeant Syphilis going first land. And last but not least for the final player, we have a purple UEF by the name of Samus759. And with all of that out of the way, we can go ahead and just see what these players are going to get up to. We can hit control shift to see there's very little reclaim on this map. Hey, it's, I mean, it's still worth grabbing, but it, it's just like you send an engineer out and if it dies, oh well. And we can see as far as expansions and just the map goes, there is water, but everything is a cliff. So you could never get anything other than cruisers to be effective. And the water might not even be dip deep enough for a naval factory. So this is all kind of the outside is unused to land, really. Then you have these kind of gullies here with hydrocarbons and mexes. You have one for each player. There is four expansion mexes, expansion mexes directly outside each of the bases, and there's not really much going on in the middle. It's just another way to approach your enemies. A lot of the fighting is probably going to end up happening up here on the top flank and like on these flanks that lead straight to an enemy base. And yeah, as we look at the game going forward, we can see some Salins out trying to be a little bit sneaky. Possibly sit one of those on top of a mass extractor, enable cloaking, and just really mess with somebody. They have to go ahead and get a radar up to uh, kill off your your Salin, or they can ground fire with a comm or whatever. And uh, we do, of course, have just a few minor land units being spammed out. Engineers going out to grab expansions, major expansions queued up. And yeah, we'll have to see how the uh, STI brothers up here plan to approach this. Maybe they are in cahoots against... <laughs> cahoots in cahoots against samus here as they uh have a definite similar naming scheme with admiral aids and sergeant syphilis either way we will see how they approach the match we can see the calm of sergeant syphilis sitting here on a cliff you know he's just like trying to give us a cliffhanger making us guess exactly what he's going to do next as the calm of Admiral Aids does a little bit more by walking past the same cliff. And uh, Samus is building factories because that's what Samus do. Samus really likes the factories. Either way, we do have a scout coming out. We'll have to see exactly how much scouting these players are doing. We do see Samus, I believe, having the first air factory up. And Sergeant now got their factory up and is sending out an air scout. And Admiral is uh, deciding to play blind until their factory finishes. <laughs> but, yeah, it's another free-for-all. I really like casting these. They're quite fun. We do, of course, see reclaim orders given. But there's not a major amount of reclaim over here. Most of these tiny rocks have little to nothing in them. That's why they don't show up here. Like, they have, like, point-something mass, from what I understand. Either that or control shift is broken, and, um, that's also entirely possible. Either way. Over here, we can see two scouts getting shot down, but I believe that Samus got off a full scout of their enemies' bases, and can see that there's a little bit of echoing up coming out from Sergeant Syphilis, as they have a T2 mechs already. Admiral Aids is currently getting their first scout off. They didn't quite reach the main base of Sergeant Syphilis, but it, it does look like they're going to get a pretty decent scout off onto the base of Samus. And 
Of course, Sergeant Syphilis does seemingly have intel on what their opponent's doing. Either way, we do have a look, uh, looks what looks like a little push coming out from Admiral Aids towards the base of Samus. We will keep an eye on it, see exactly how effective it is. As the first shots are fired into this mech, so we can see Zooey's and Thoms, some Salins coming over here. Just a tiny little harassing party, but there is a response of Samus's comm and the units coming out of those factories, coming over to assist. We do have T2 already finished for Sergeant Syphilis, going with a heavy tech approach to this match. Doesn't have any spamming factories, is in a rather weak position if they were attacked currently, but obviously with these T2 mechs, it looks like they may be trying to get up to very early Ilshivas. And if that happens, that could be a huge game changer and change the balance of power on the map significantly. <clears throat> we can see that there are people that the that Samus and Admiral Aides are communicating. They are going to be attempting a attack onto blue as I'm sure they've both noticed that there's been a lot of teching up going on by Sergeant Civilis. And we can now see the little harassing party that was over here. Actually, this one, yeah, it didn't get completely destroyed. The little harassing party has decided to go forward and attack into Sergeant Civilis's area, which is, of course, not great timing for him as he's just now about to have one Ilshiva completed, a T2 power generator on the way, going to lose a few T1 mexes and a hydrocarbon. That hydrocarbon going down may cause a slight power stall while they're building the power generator, but it does look like the power generator is going to finish and that's going to secure his power economy for the foreseeable future. We can see more units coming over here. All of the expansion mexes, the hydrocarbon, all of that is indeed gone now. Samus has is getting gun and damage and range onto the comm currently. And Sergeant Syphilis bringing their comm out to deal with this little harassing party. How does that exactly affect the mass per second? It does still look like Sergeant Syphilis is in the lead at 21 versus 15 for Commander Samus and 15 for Admiral Aids. We do see an attack, some pressure being placed onto Samus out from Sergeant or Admiral Aids. They are going to be attempting to get some damage done, but with that gun damage and range upgrade, it's going to be quite difficult as a run by gets through over here, kills off another mech's Admiral Aids playing very heavily into the early spam game, but it does seem that those Ilshivas earlier must have been dropped over here. No, this was a Lobo drop. So, in fact, Admiral Aids is going to be losing multiple mexes and be put into a tough position via Lobo drop coming out of Samus, losing core mexes, losing factories to just a handful of Lobos is very painful. For a second, I thought it might have been Ilshivas out from... Well, I guess the it would only be one or two Ilshivas at max, so... Makes more sense for Samus to do a Lobo drop, now that I think about it. I thought that Samus and uh, Admiral Aids were kind of... Mm, had a non-aggression pact, but that seems to have been broken, because along with that little drop, we do see a whole bunch of units that did attack into the base of Samus, who... I would guess is having power issues currently. No, not quite yet. Losing the hydrocarbon didn't do quite as much as I thought it might. We do see an Ilshiva coming out here into the middle and going to be killing off some T1 units. Very effective T2 assault bot there. As it mows down some engineers attempting to reclaim it. And we see a comm in the background come to uh, dispatch the Ilshiva. And that's going to be one very dead Ilshiva here in a second. But 
at what cost? Losing off all of those engineers, losing off the T1 spam, losing the radar in the middle. That's going to be a little bit painful for Commander, or for Admiral Aides. Commander Aides, everybody. Uh, Admiral Aides over here getting gun speed and range on the way currently. Samus sitting with the damage and range upgrade, and it does look like T2 is on the way for... Sergeant Syphilis possibly thinking about setting up a fire base somewhere, just trying to play the defensive. He has been quite happy to sit in his base. The only aggressive move he's made is send out one soul Ilshiva to the middle, which is a very low commitment, very low risk, very low reward. Um, either way, T2 now on the way for Samus759, who is going to be getting that upgrade quite quickly. Uh, they are seemingly holding a very balanced economy. And also, I believe I was wrong. I believe the rocks over here did have reclaim. It just wasn't showing up because when we look at the reclaim tab, we can see Sam is sitting at 1.4k, whereas the other two players are sitting just above or below 900 reclaim. And yeah, that's just how it's going to be shaking out. Samus managing to get up some T2 mexes and challenge the economy of Sergeant Syphilis. Currently sitting at 35 mass a second versus 46 for Sergeant. Admiral, oh, sorry, had a hiccup. Uh, Admiral sitting at 17. That Lobo drop seemingly causing quite a bit of damage and making their progression over the economic side of the game a little bit stunted. Whereas we see more scouting going on, a quite, a quite quiet game for now, all of the players. Nobody committing super heavily to just taking out one of the other players. But I'm sure that is bound to change at some point. We do see T2 land coming online for our purple UEF over here. It does look like some pillar T2 tanks have been loaded onto a courier. And yet more are coming out to be loaded on as well. I wonder where that's going to go. It'd be a very dangerous idea to try and even try and drop Syphilis as they do have quite a number of T2 units right there in their base. And they have a nice number of interceptors to try and shoot those down before they even land. So it would be ill-advised. Maybe just going to drop on the front lines. And it does look like that. Just get those units out a little bit faster get them to the front lines so that way they can start causing damage as soon as physically capable whereas sergeant syphilis is now moving out with their ilshivas and the flak is going to stay in the base but we do see that gun speed and range upgrade as well as four ilshivas coming out to meet this massive t2 ar t uh, massive uef army looking quite a little bit like the supreme commander forged alliance trailer as we see ilshivas and a UEF comm with a gun upgrade. Fighting. No, Commander Burke. Don't do it. The Elshavas are being targeted down by the comm, which is the right move. Of course, Syphilis getting a free fire time onto all of the spam himself. It's going to be quite difficult to break this. They're going to get two of the Elshavas, maybe a third if lucky but at the same time we have t1 bombers coming out and this attack is seemingly going to be halted where it stands unable to continue to push forward we do see some t1 railgun anti-air coming up from samus which is quite the useful thing to have that t2 gun that t2 upgrade the engineering suite making those very quick to build and all of the units are slowly dissipating and it looks like Samus is going to have to retreat relatively soon. This is the first major attack we've seen out of anybody from this game. Meanwhile, Sergeant Syphilis is sitting over here doing very little. Does have a T2 TAC missile launcher out. There is, of course, TAC missile defense over here and it doesn't seem that there's any TAC defense over on the southern side of the map. It will be very apparent very soon that she or that he will need it. I read Samus and was just thinking she. Uh, I have gotten confirmation. I, th I believe Samus is a dude, but either way, uh, that 
is not a conversation for this cast. I've gone through this conversation. By the way, they are going to be building up a D2 power gen, which will be very useful. Wow, was that a control K or were those? That, that was a control K. That's why you're reclaiming. Get that mass back from the couriers. They aren't going to be useful any longer. And Samus retreating back to the base as we see a TAC missile launch come out. It does seemingly be targeted at either one of these mexes or possibly the tower or air factory. If there was scouting onto the T2 power, that would be the target. And there was, and that's painful. But it's not too horrible. Oh, wait, nope. It is very horrible. It did kill off the wreck, so you can't just build back on the wreck and make life easier. We do see a second TAC missile coming out and taking out a T2 mass extractor, and that's... Oh, that's painful. Two T2 mechs going down in a very short period of time with those TAC missile launches, whereas Ilshavas have been dropped. So there was Ilshava drops coming. I just didn't... Uh, have the right drop in mind and all of these T2 mexes are forfeit all of these are dead uh, at this point I'm I feel bad because uh, Sergeant Syphilis has been sitting back here just trying to catch up on eco maybe was even ahead on eco for a second there as they were taking out some of the eco of their opponents but it has failed and we can see T2 factories now being targeted down and killed off with TAC missiles, those TAC missiles just flying in as fast as they can towards Samus's base. And that is a painful situation to deal with. We do see these Ilshavas coming out to destroy factories. The mechs are all gone. Probably going to target the hydrocarbon next. Admiral Aid's coming out with a gun and T2 Com to deal with this. It will deal with it with relative ease, but unfortunately for... Admiral aids. It's a little bit too little too late as these Ilshavas do die. We can see that Admiral aids is yet again at the bottom of the pecking order for economy and that is a painful situation to be in indeed. Either way I would expect these two T2 factories to be rebuilt by that T2 engineering suite comm and it does seem that Samus has recovered quite nicely, already getting back up those mexes very quickly, has the mass to spare for that, and everything is quite nice, it would seem. Advanced nano repair on the way for Sergeant Syphilis. This comm is going to be a chunky boy. It is being paused, as I would assume probably energy is stopping that from being a thing. Yeah, the energy bar refilling. A very expensive upgrade it was cancelled so that way they can move the comm need to unpause the comm to build anything so if that was your intention you need to uh yeah you need to yep there we go unpausing the comm as sergeant syphilis makes their way through admiral aids now rebuilding t2 mexes on the rex yeah that one there wasn't a wreck it seems either way needs to continue doing that that is something you want i don't know what else could possibly be occupied yep there we go getting reclaim are you using your mass with what is spending all of your mass is it this is this really spending you just have one tack missile launcher at this point this is useless don't even use that i guess you're making gunships as well gunships we can see an Elsheva drop has been attempted over here as well, and it does look like it's going to be just as effective. Two Elshevas dropped on both of his opponent's bases. Sergeant Syphilis getting tons of value out of these drops, and we are going to be seeing... A, I would like to see some T1PD spammed up over here as we see a bunch of Mongeese run back towards the base. They will kill off these Ilshivas relatively quickly as long as all of them can get in range, but now you need to rebuild those T2 engineers. It, I'd like to see some target fire out from this. It's not like there's much else for Sergeant Civilist to micro. Could be killing off T2 mass extractors instead of T1 power. T1 power being the least of your worries. It's not going to affect Samus. This is a rather inconsequential drop so far as... 
yeah, Sergeant, Sergeant Syphilis, this, this drop could have been very dangerous, but instead was mitigated by just a handful of Mon Geese and losing very minimal things. Losing some T2 Engineers, losing a couple T1 Power. Yeah, this is just all stuff that gets to be reclaimed now. So that was a interesting drop. It was very poorly microed. <laughs> Uh, in future, when you're going to do a drop like that, you can give orders to your units while, before they drop. While they're in the transport, you can give individual orders to each unit, and you can just tell them to, hey, target this mass extractor, you target this one, you target that one, just go about your day. Um, I'm not 100% sure on how to do it. I know how to do it if I'm in, in a game and I'm like using the transport, but I can't walk you through it. But there is, I'm sure there is a guide on that. Look up a fire beetle snipe guide because that's what you used to do with fire beetles is you'd give them all commands before they go off the ship. We do see a T2 artillery now out for Sergeant Syphilis and this this is not going to work. There is T2 mobile flak on the way. Sergeant Syphilis is going to fall down below 8,000 HP but it's it's not going to be a fatal blow. This is going to be a just a painful situation to deal with. All of this T2 mobile flak is going to save the day. It's a good example of why you do build that T2 mobile flak. And we see that the attack missiles are being shot down now as a shield is being thrown up. And with that nano regen, it, he is getting eight, 86 health a second. We do see a Natha come in, drop a bomb on the T2 artillery. Would have been probably much more profitable to drop that bomb if you had used the gunships to try and kill off the T2 artillery. But now you have no chance. That T2 air investment is going to be null and void very soon as flak has been produced by every player in this match. And... It would be rather foolish to attempt to gunship snipe somebody. At this point, your best off option is to go to T3. <coughs> oh god. Your best option is probably go T3 and go for snipes using bo strat bombers. Uh, at this point, you're not going to get back into the land game. You've lost all of your land factories. In fact, having zero land factories out on the map. Uh, actually, you have one land factory. But... Yeah, this is a very painful situation for Admiral A. It's going to have to find a new way to deal with the encroaching threat of T2 artillery coming out from Sergeant Syphilis. This one T2 artillery already sitting at six kills and having killed 3,000 mass worth of probably stationary targets, but still killing off quite a little bit of mass. Also managing to kill off a T1 mass extractor for Samus. This is going to be a very valuable investment in the coming future. We do see a large T2 army now out from Samus. Samus could very easily kill off Admiral Aids and possibly make this into a 1v1, but I'm not sure if that's what they would like to opt for. They are exceptionally behind as far as mass is concerned. Nearly at 60 versus 95 mass, that's one third of Samus's economy extra for Sergeant Syphilis. And it's definitely showing up now as we see T3 on the ground tech for Sergeant Syphilis getting up to these higher techs. Going to be able to go for Othams here soon. Can have one factory producing those T3 assault tanks by, with assistance even. Uh, and that would be a very worthy investment in my opinion. I mean... Let's just go ahead and double check on the cost of an Otham. It's not too horrible. It's 21 mass a second. In fact, could start building it right now and still be perfectly fine as long as you stop building things with the comm. We do have an air staging facility. A little bit wasted for the fact that you only have interceptors. But you know what? I guess do what you want. <laughs> T3 on the way for the comm of Sergeant Syphilis as an army moves out towards the base of Admiral Aids and Samus is experiencing power issues. Was a power generator destroyed? No. 
it does seem that instead they simply overstepped their power production. That problem solved just about as quickly as it arose, building up some power storage now to try and help with this. And we do see that they've backed off from the attack, killing off just a couple of mexes and then walking away. Um, but the T... Is this advanced nano repair? This is... No, this is T3. Um, <laughs> for some reason I thought they were going for advanced nano repair again. We do see a Natha bomber out, but it's going to die to the flak. Yep. Gonna die to the flak. Oh, no it's not. It's going to survive with 200 HP. And 7 kills, giving it a rank of veterancy. This... What's the range on this artillery? Oh, so this artillery has killed just about all it can. It's, it's mainly focused at doing damage over to Admiral Aids. And that Natha has died and dropped the wreck right next to Samus's comm. And Samus, not missing a beat, decides to go ahead and reclaim it. Meanwhile, over here, we can see some T... Oh, I love these things. I don't know how to say them, but I love them. Look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. They're so cute as they waddle along on their legs. They're so cute. I love them. Love them to beat bits. Love them to pieces. Along with a... This is an anti-shield weapon, isn't it? Or is this a T3 Mobile AA? This is a T3 Mobile AA. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. I love those little things. Uh, what's their name? Sathanus? <laughs> Sath anus. <laughs> That's one suspect anus. <laughs> uh, I have the maturity of a fucking child, but it's, it's like somebody with a lisp saying, or like partial lisp saying, sus anus. <laughs> We're playing Among Us now. Welcome to 2021. Oh my word. That, that got me. That, that made me, that made me giggle. Either way, we can see it walking towards the opponents. It's going to set down its little legs and start firing any second now on that T2 army out from Samus. We can see an Ilshvo just being absolutely pelted with missiles over there in the front foreground. Or in the background, I guess. As in the foreground, we can see... Oh, there's another one! Look at him! Look, I'm just waddling around. That's totally going to be the fucking thumbnail. Those little bots are some of my favorite fucking bots. I do have favorites for each faction. Like, I do really like certain units from each faction. And we can see as they lay their little legs down and fire. And they're going to die now. Oh my gosh, this game is so goddamn beautiful. It hurts my eyes. It hurts my eyes to look at such beauty. Oh my word. We can see that Samus is being driven back once again in an uneventful ground attack against Sergeant Syphilis, who is now going to be taking the aggressive from the looks of it. Oh my word, it's so goddamn beautiful. Need the goddamn tissue. Gonna cry. Um. <laughs> Either way. They, they. There was. there. Oh, now there's Othams. So that's even more dangerous. We do see a lot of energy storage being spammed up over here. What are you going for, Admiral Aids? Are you gonna get teleporter? Is that your strategy? Because you need a lot more power storage than this for teleporter when you only have 1600 power a second. Okay, Admiral Aids is in the corner doing Aids things. Um, and we're going to ignore them for the given moment. 
whereas Samus is working on drones. Mm, valid, valid choice. I mean, you can do some cheeky things. Some cheeky, cheeky things. We do have... Is that still T3? No, this is advanced nano repair coming onto the comm of Sergeant Syphilis, who cannot afford it economically from the power standpoint. Sitting at negative 7,000 power because, you know, you got T3 before you got advanced nano repair, making this much harder to balance. Either way, should be all right. Should be able to get that relatively soon. And yeah, we do have another attempted drop. This time it's an awesome, but I doubt it works again. I mean, e even dropping it right there, I, as long as Samus notices, it's just like, build some tree to repair it, And Samus already has vision of this. I already know there's a drop incoming. Somehow doesn't. Or does. Come on, you can literally see it. It's on your screen now. Come on, Samus. Oh, there's already some T2BD built. Oh, then this is just not... This is just a non-issue. We don't even have to worry about this. Let's just just watch. I'm telling you right now, this is going to accomplish jack shit. It's going to get inside the shields. It may kill off a shield, sure. But it's not going to kill off anything that matters. Even reclaim orders out. Yep, Z, you kill off a shield that is going to take no time to rebuild whatsoever. Whereas over here we can see Admiral Aids was attempting to get what upgrade? Uh, advanced nano repair and didn't have the power storage to actually build it. So is going to do the pause and restart method of building an upgrade, which valid. As Splash is on the way, making an absolute Rambo com is Sergeant Syphilis. And I would guess once this Rambo com is done, there is going to be an attack. And it looks like Syphilis is deciding to mount their first aggressive move towards Samus. <clears throat> Samus spotting this attack may want to try and build a firebase. Not quite sure how effective that may be. But, it would be a very good option at this point. Knowing that your opponent has T3, and you are just now working on T3, there's going to be a buildup of Othams, Splash on the way, a bunch of engineers coming out to assist. The move order has been given. How much... Oh, that's Omni. The Sergeant knows everything that's going on. Well, when Sergeant has power. Sergeant doesn't always have power. It's a... It's a Find balancing act. Either way, we do see this T3 factory nearly completed and some T2 artillery, some clink hammers being constructed. Does this box the comm in? Can the comm get off this cliff now? If the comm cannot get off this cliff, this is a legitimate issue. How much vision does... So Samus knows that this is going to be happening. Samus can see the attack coming. I'm curious as to why Samus... And they, Samus is in my Discord, by the way. Samus, why didn't you think to build, like, gunships or... Actually, gunships wouldn't work. I, I will give you that. There is a flag. Um... You know what? No, never mind. This this response is kind of fine. I would have I would have possibly gone for more T two. T two point defense. That's like the only thing that I could think would be more useful at the moment. Also, probably don't box your comm onto a cliff, because I'm pretty sure that your comm cannot move from here. Maybe I am wrong, but I don't think your comm can actually get out from where it is currently. So once these Othams show up, it's just a matter of hey. The Othams can do what they want. Uh, yeah, and then there's the calm that you have to worry about. At this point, you needed you needed a lot of a lot of static defense to deal with this. You don't have the army to, but we will have to see. I'm not 100% sure 
Maybe there is a way to deal with this. Maybe I'm just being dummy thick. Being a thick boy. Um. <laughs> Either way, the Guncom of Sergeant Syphilis is coming out to play. And they're not very happy. T2 is going to finish momentarily, but Samus's comm cannot move, so Samus can't fall back to the outer layers of defenses, I don't believe. T3 has been cancelled. Samus is actually able to move, which is a good sign, able to run back towards their defenses, but... Even with this, the Othams are not being threatened whatsoever. This is just the Guncom coming in to deal all of this damage. And Samus is put into a very difficult situation as clink hammers die. And Samus is trying to get back into their main base. But are they going to be able to get under shielding in time? They're already on fire. This may be an ejection. And it is. And that is the end of our first player, our first ejection at the 35 minute mark. And the full force of the army of Sauron, otherwise known as uh, Sergeant Syphilis, is coming forward to deal with Admiral Aids Com. And that could be rather unfortunate for Admiral Aids. You know, generally not very good day when you're getting uh, assaulted by forces of this magnitude there exists no such force as um what's his face worm once said and here we go i'm making a lot of lord of the rings references now i've watched the entire lord of the rings uh extended uh trilogy along with the entire extended hobbit trilogy uh, very recently. I've watched it twice in the past month. And, um, yes, that is a lot of time, I hear you say. Uh, but it, it was, it was a very good time. I enjoyed myself. Either way, a lot of T2PD being thrown up over here, but it's not gonna matter because we have the cute boys. The cute boys are gonna come over here and they're gonna just absolutely destroy that firebase. It's one shield. They're gonna destroy it. We see the cute boys line up their shots. Oh, another one. Another one. They do move in herds. <gasps> they do move in herds. Everybody. They do move in herds. We see the transports come out to use their tiny little blap guns to try and kill off T3 mobile artillery. Interesting strategy. God, this I I we could I just love them. They're so cute. They're just firing their little cannons, cannons over there. As interceptors land, and we can see the calm of our man. Sergeant Syphilis going to attack Admiral Aids. You would think that a sergeant would not be able to pull rank like this onto a admiral, but Sergeant Syphilis is uh, definitely saying, fuck the Navy, I'm a Marine. Or something like that. Either way, here we go. Here we go as we see inner military conflict between the STD armed forces we can see that admiral aids is is doing some fancy footwork whereas sergeant syphilis is just standing there sergeant syphilis not a man of precise or exact exaggerated movements but it is going to work as the calm of admiral aids dies and that is the end of our cast today i know this cast was a little bit lazy a little bit low energy but uh yeah you know what sometimes we need a low energy thing in our life i just enjoyed watching it and chilling you know 
having a good time. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, and uh, what what else? What's the other thing I'm supposed to say? All right, join my Discord because that's where you can send me replays. Um, what else? What else can we? Uh, what else can we say? All oh, right, thank you to my patron Timothy Calderwood for supporting me over on Patreon. If you want to support me monetarily, you can. And yeah, with that, goodbye.